is the rough future of the universe going to look like a bunch of black holes accreting, sucking up most of the matter in the universe, well, and then slowly okay. evaporating into this gaseous okay. so, nothingness? Uh, um, this, of course, depends on the, the, uh, the details of cosmology. Up till very recently, everybody believed there was this thing called dark energy. They don't anymore. They do. Okay, okay. But uh, there's some tension about it. It's called, it's called the Hubble tension. Um, mostly, I suspect you should ignore it because I think it will go away. We could talk about why, phys why physics is always having these crises like this where things don't quite seem to fit together. Let's take it for granted that, uh, that this crisis called the Hubble tension will eventually go away, that uh, experiments will do better and, uh, and things will come into a line. Uh, okay, so if everything lines up the way we always thought it was, always, not always, for the last 20, 25 years, the universe is accelerating in its expansion, um, but that indicates that it has a horizon now, it's not a horizon like a black hole where we're outside the horizon looking in. It's a horizon surrounding us that we're looking out and seeing the horizon. Incidentally, the horizon on the Earth is something that surrounds us, right? Mm -hmm. if, we, if we're out on the sea and we look around us, we see the horizon surrounding us. The horizon of cosmology is like that. If we look out far enough in all directions, there's a horizon out there. The horizon is a point of no return. Anything that flows past it is lost. Okay, so mostly what will happen, we're at the center, by definition, we're not, not because there's any special place called the center, but because we, we're very um, uh, arrogant about it and we say we're at the center. We look out, there's a horizon out there, and what's gonna happen trillion years or something like that, all, everything that isn't gravitationally bound to our galaxy, stuff which is flowing out with the Hubble uh, expansion, with the Hubble flow, all of that will pass through, uh, pass to the horizon, become invisible, disappear, and the only thing that will be left will be our galaxy, which is held together by gravity. It's not, it's not participating in this expansion. And, uh, and maybe the neighboring galaxy, which might fall into our galaxy and become part of it, the Andromeda, uh, all the other galaxies will simply disappear, move out, flow out with the Hubble flow, and just disappear. So the universe will become very, very empty except for ourselves. Of course, everybody on these other galaxies who's moving out, they say exactly the same thing. They think our galaxy is falling through their horizon. Uh, it's much like two ships on the two ships on the sea. They're moving apart from each other. Each one looks at the other and says, "Oh, that poor ba no, that poor fellow went over the horizon." That's funny. He says. He went over the horizon, or she says, he went over the horizon. He says, she went over the horizon. Neither one felt anything very special, but both of them are right. Each one went uh, over the other, other, the other one's horizon. That's what's going to happen. Everything will just flow out over the horizon, and we'll be all, we will truly be alone. Not our star will be alone, but our galaxy will be alone.